That is really good. Mm. Mm -mm. That was a little disappointing, not gonna lie. Today's video is gonna be so exciting because today I wanted to try Mr. Beast Festival. So if you don't know, Mr. Beast is a very, very popular YouTuber and he has his own chocolate bars. So he calls them Mr. Beast Festivals. And I got the sampler pack at Walmart and I wanted to try all of the chocolate bars and this one I also saw on the side. So I was like, let me just pick it up and try these five for you today. Give you my honest review, my opinion, and then at the end, rank them from least to most favorite. So in the pack, they have milk chocolate, peanut butter, um, milk crunch, and almonds. And then on the side, I got the dark chocolate sea salt one. And in case you're wondering what it looks like, this is the front and then this is the back. I'll upload a picture here for you in case you want to see. So first impressions on the box, I love the colors. Blue and pink are my absolute favorite colors in the world. And I feel like the box and the design and stuff is very like attractive to the eye. Like you're going to be like, oh, that's different compared to like a Hershey's or a Crunch. Like for example, like they're just kind of plain Jane. Like this is cute and it like makes you gravitate towards looking at it. Okay, we have our five feastable bars over here. I'm going to start from left to right so starting out with milk chocolate Ooh, it smells really good which is really nice oh that's so cute i don't know if you can see that but it says mr beast on there okay i want to try a little square this is milk chocolate mm, very creamy that is really good <laughs> that is really good it has a nice mix of creaminess and not being too sweet. Like, you know when you have some chocolates that are just way too sweet, like it's just too much? And I can see myself eating like half a bar of this. I can't eat the whole thing because it's huge, but really good. It's a lot better than a Hershey's bar. Like, I would grab this over like a Hershey's bar. So next up is the peanut butter flavor. This is a very controversial opinion, but I don't like peanut butter, so I don't have high hopes for this one. Yeah. I already know I'm not gonna like it, but I'm gonna just try it just for the sake of the YouTube video. This is the peanut butter one. I'm gonna try a little piece because I already know I'm not gonna like it. Mm. <laughs> um. <laughs> mm. Okay, that one is going dead last, like 100%. Was it the worst thing in the world? No. But giving it a fair rating, it's pretty creamy. It has a very strong peanut butter like flavor. Obviously, it's peanut butter. Um, I just hate peanut butter. I don't like it. But just for the sake of this video, I wanted to try it regardless. But the creaminess is there. The flavor is peanut butter. For peanut butter lovers, I think you would like this. This will get eaten, just not by me. On to the next one, which I know I'm gonna love. This one is Milk Crunch. So this is Milk Crunch, and then on the back, it has like little bumps on it. Okay, so for the Milk Crunch one, we're gonna take a little. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. -hmm. That's really good. It has a perfect mix of like creamy chocolate and then like a little crunch to it. Dude, this one so far is at number one. 10 out of 10. That's so good. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. Next up is almonds and I love almonds uh, chocolate. So this one's, I know I'm gonna love it. They all have like the same design. So it says Mr. Beast and then Feastables down here. And then that's the back. So we're gonna try one piece. Hmm. Not bad. I just, personal preference, it feels like it's a bit too much almond in it. So it feels like a chocolate covered almond, if that makes sense. Like it's a lot of almond, which some people might like. So that's what the pieces look like. So you can see that there's like a lot of almonds in there, which it doesn't taste bad at all. But personal preference wise, like I wouldn't eat the whole thing. Like I would just have like maybe two or three bites like I do right now and then I'm good. So that was a little disappointing, not gonna lie. And then our last one that I'm gonna try today is the dark chocolate sea salt one. This one I'm very excited for because I feel like salt on chocolate is just the best combination that you can do. But dark chocolate, sometimes it can be very rich in flavor. So the salt can help balance it out. Um, so this is it. It's obviously a lot darker than the normal one So this one is the milk chocolate one and then this one is the dark chocolate one So it's obviously darker in color. 
So let's go ahead and try it. Mm -hmm. Wow, that one is packed with flavor. That one's so good. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands because my hands are full of chocolate. So now for the ranking. So all the way down in fifth place is the peanut butter one, which comes to no surprise. I was completely expecting not to like this. Just preference wise, I don't like peanut butter. Very controversial opinion, I'm sorry. I just, I'm not a fan of peanut butter. Um, but for any peanut butter lovers, I feel like you might like this one. But just coming from me, a peanut butter hater, this is a one out of 10. I'll give it a little bit of like a point because the chocolate aspect of it, very creamy and you know, it's a nice blend. Um, but the peanut butter itself, I'm not a fan. In fourth place, this comes to a little bit of a surprise for me, but it is the almonds. So I was expecting this one to be a lot higher in my ranking. Like I do love almond chocolate bars, but I feel like they overdid it with the almond itself. Cause like I said, it feels like a chocolate covered almond. Like it's a lot of nutty flavor, which if you're a huge like lover of almonds or like any, you know, nut in chocolates, I think you would like this. But Personally, I feel like they overdid it with the almond portion of it. I wouldn't take more than like two little blocks of it from here. So I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10 because it's not bad, but it's just a bit much. In third place, I was expecting this one to also be a little bit higher, but the milk chocolate. The reason that it's in third is because it's milk chocolate. Like it's nothing too special, if that makes sense. Like it's very, very creamy. It's delicious. It's so enjoyable to have. Like it's a really, really good chocolate bar. And I would give this a solid nine out of 10. Like this was very enjoyable. I, would, I don't give it a perfect score because it's pretty basic. It's pretty plain compared to like other flavored chocolates, but that's the point. Like it's milk chocolate. Like there's not supposed to be a bunch of flavor, but for it being a milk chocolate bar, it is so creamy, very enjoyable and not overly powering in like the sugar and the chocolate, the sweetness. So we have our final two chocolate bars. So the one that is in second place is the dark chocolate sea salt. So I absolutely love this one. It's not part of like the original sample pack that I got at Walmart, but this one is so delicious. It has a perfect, perfect mix of sweet and salty. So the sweetness from the chocolate and then the saltiness from the salt. And what I like about it is that on the outside, it doesn't have the salt, it's in the inside. So when you take a bite, you're not really expecting a lot of the salt, but man, like it has a perfect combination of having the sweetness and then having like that punch of saltiness, but it's not overpowering. It's just a perfect, beautiful blend and mix of it. So this one is a solid 9.5 out of 10. And then in first place, a little bit basic, but the Milk Crunch. So this one I feel like is my absolute favorite one. It has the creaminess of the milk chocolate, but it has the texture of like the little crunch parts. And I don't really know what the crunchy parts are itself, but I feel like it has a perfect mix of flavor, texture, and enjoyability, I would say. So I can eat like a full chocolate bar and be completely content. Like I feel like they're really big, so it's saying a lot. So these bars itself, I feel like I was really impressed with the chocolate bars, with the packaging, with the way that he's advertising these chocolates. Like I feel like they live up to the expectations. Like they're really, really good, solid chocolate bars. And I definitely see myself repurchasing them. I believe each of them are like $2 for the size of the chocolate bar. Like it's a relatively good size chocolate bar for the price. But yeah, you guys, that is my review of the Mr. Beast Feastable chocolate bars. I really enjoyed them and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Let me know if you've tried a Mr. Beast Feastables bar and let me know what your favorite one is because my favorite is Milk Crunch and also the dark chocolate sea salt. Like those two are like nearly tied for first, but let me know if you tried one. Let me know what your favorite one is and if you want to try, you can get it at Walmart. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.